Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video on how a virtual assistant can help an influencer slash content creator scale their business by 10x. There comes a point in time in most content creators slash influencers, I kind of use their, that term interchangeably, there comes a point in time in their career where it is, begins to get difficult to do it all by yourself if you're wanting to continue to grow and scale your business. You get more followers, they're requesting more content, you have to be on all these platforms. It is a crazy overwhelming and I'm not even the one who has experience doing it. I just have been behind the scenes for about five years now of multiple influencers lives and just their businesses and how crazy it gets and I have been able to help them grow and change and just get their time back and so I wanted to share with you some of the tips and some of the things that you can outsource, some of the things that you can have somebody help you with. The first thing a virtual assistant can help you with is graphics or content that doesn't necessarily have to be handled by you, the creator. So for example, if you're somebody who shares fashion or home items or organization, you can have your virtual assistant put together a collage graphic for you to share to LTK, Amazon storefronts, share to your stories whenever you have sales. You can have them put up a roundup together to help highlight that. Whenever Black Friday, Amazon Prime Day come around, you can have them put together those collages. That way you're completely hands off and you're able to share a piece of content that is going to bring you income without having to do anything. So during that time, you could be filming or doing some spending time with your children and doing something that is worth your time. And if you're a content creator influencer, if you're trying to optimize your time, I highly suggest putting a price on your hourly rate. Just put it in your head. You don't have, you can even write it down somewhere. And if it is cheaper to outsource that, then you should start looking to outsource that task. So it is going to sound a little weird, but another thing you can have a virtual assistant do is shop for you. So if you have upcoming brand collaborations, if you know there's an upcoming sale that you want to share with your followers, if you are just needing to pick out some new items for summer, if your job is to kind of share design look for less items or summer new arrivals to your audience, then you can have your virtual assistant shop those items for you, add them to your cart. You can review the cart and pick out the items you want, pick, get rid of the items you don't. You can have somebody look for trending items. If you like to do unboxings or things like that, you can outsource all of that shopping, which is going to save you so much time. I work with a client who specifically wants to share Walmart new arrivals, Amazon new arrivals. And so just every week I will go through, look at all the new arrivals because they typically get new arrivals and weekly and just add the new ones to her cart. It's just a system we have in place that so she is constantly able to get fresh and new content. Another task you can outsource is blog posts and newsletter creation. I know that these tasks may seem like they're in the past, but creating blog posts and especially newsletters help you to have your own platform where you have control of that audience, have a way to contact that audience. Whereas Instagram, you have all these followers, but if your account were to get deleted tomorrow, all those followers would be gone. So having a newsletter where you're able to gather that person's name, their email, you have a way to reach them. That way, even if your Instagram or your TikTok were to go down tomorrow, you would still have this platform where you are able to reach those consumers that you have worked so hard to build their trust. So for blog posts and newsletters, you can do that completely hands off. You can just text them, say, hey, this is what I would like to see in the newsletter this week. Hey, can you include this little blurb to put in the blog post this week? And they are able to get that together for you. And so we get lots of requests for is short form video editing. So this is super easy. You can share videos through Google Drive or any other sharing platform. You can have your assistant download them edit them into short form clips, or you can even have her edit your reel or anything like that. Chop it up, add it to a song, do the text, and then they're able to send it back to you via Google Drive. You can approve it. You can even have them upload it for you. And I've done a video before on things to look for in a virtual assistant. So if you're, if any of this sounds good, uh, definitely go look to hire one. You don't even have to choose anyone from me or my agency. Um, if you are, we are um, taking on new clients. So feel free to email me at kateKristineServices at gmail.com. But if not, LinkedIn has some great options. You can even find people just like, if you network a little bit of the content creators or influencers in your field, that is how a lot of people have found me just like through references 
plate. Put a dollar amount on your time and then don't do anything that is not up to that standard of time. So that's a great place to start and I highly recommend outsourcing. Oh, it sucks kind of, it is hard to let control. I even find that within my own business. So, um, but yeah, those are my tips that I have ways that a virtual assistant can help 10x your business. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.